It is as if all the dead of the mare walk, my lord. There are miles of them. Then we shall make a road of their bodies. The enemy comes! They are men who have died once, and they will die again! We are more than their match. They know nothing of courage, of honor. They have no loved ones they fight for. And that is why they will fall before our swords, our spears, for the gods are with us. Brothers, sisters all, standing side by side against death. Know that all of Neverwinter stands behind you. Let us remind them of death and send them back to the hells. To battle the Nine to me! Lord Nasher. Let us fight to him. See if we can rescue him. The Nine to me! Men of Neverwinter, Lord Nasher is wounded. Everyone to Crossroad Keep. We will make our last stand there. Oh, there you are. Uh, pardon me, but I was wondering if you happen to see Armand Jero about? I had some questions for him regarding the King of Shadows, and he seems to be rather elusive. Looking for Jero? Old Tattoo Face left the keep a while ago. Thought you'd finally told him to shove off, Captain. I'm not one to say who leaves and who stays, Captain, and I don't seem to recall you ordering me to make sure he stays put, as if any of us could make him do anything except for you. I thought he was on one of those fetch and carries you love to do. If he's gone, so what? I can track him if you want. Personally, I think we should let him go or kill him. But that's just my copper on the matter. Ashes, Armanjero. Coroboros. I stayed my hand until you could see this ruin for yourself. This pain is something that I cannot inflict upon you in Beator. Here is where she played in her youth. There is where she slept. And in your sanctuary is where her body now lies, grave and tomb. If you have come for retribution, you are a fool. That you would think I would allow you to remain unpunished for my imprisonment, that is foolish. Perhaps in your cowardly burrow, you commanded power, but not here. You should have enjoyed your freedom while you could. You know I'm more than a match for you. Your skill in the craft is sufficient to give me pause. True. But I have learned from my mistakes while you are still making them, I think.
What are you doing here? This one. This one was present at her death as well. Ha! Ah, all loose ends tied together at once. I thank you for these gifts, Amon. You will have company as you burn in the hells. Recall asking you to come with me. I won't bother asking how you knew I was here. You always seem to be underfoot, interfering with everything. If I needed your help to visit this ruin, I would have asked. But I was able to find my own way here. If I wanted to waste time trading words with you, I would have remained at the keep. That is not why I am here. You're mistaken, of course. No. There is something I placed here long ago that may be of use in our war now. Is it all it means to me? Yes. I never knew this place. Never knew my niece until you brought her to me. So should I feel something as I look at this place? I think not. It is a burnt ruin, and I've seen many of these strewn with corpses, some caused by me, but many more caused by the King of Shadows, so it affects me little. That is because I know there will be hundreds, thousands, countless more unless the King of Shadows is stopped. And he must be stopped if people are to live. Ah. And so you pass judgment on me yet again. Do you realize how you sound, or are you deaf to it? As you condemn my actions, perhaps you should ask yourself how well you knew her. Really knew her. Indeed. Because from all that I have heard, you are constantly placing her in danger, and you know very little about her at all. So your preaching is not only irritating me, it is a hypocrisy I commonly observe in the Neverwinter nobility, Captain. Very well, I am listening. That... that was a great deal more than I thought. She could have remained here and been safe, but yet she followed you. Why? Still, despite what you have said, she is still the reason why I have to fight this war. Because no one else has the strength to do it, or is willing to make the choices that I can. I did what I had to do, always. They were hard decisions, but they had to be made by someone. And if no one would do it, I would. And before you judge me for my crimes, perhaps you should look back. The trail of dead behind you is long indeed, hero of Neverwinter. Ask yourself truly if everything you have done has been done because you believe it was right. And then ask yourself if because of it, the innocent have suffered. Yet your actions? Would you change them if you had to do them over? I did what I had to do, always. Always. 
The King of Shadows must be stopped. There is no middle ground in this. To save Neverwinter, of course. They didn't move fast enough, see the threat for what it was, so I acted. You're right. I won't argue it with you anymore. I will not condemn all I have done, but there are times I have acted rashly, and innocents have paid the price. It is pride, and it is arrogance. And I do wish I had known Chandra, even for a short while. I had thought her lost in the war, you know. And in the end, she was. I am sorry, Chandra. Wherever you walk now, Forgive me. It seems the land has answered me. This looks to be a pendant of some sort. No, I have found what I was looking for. What is it? Perhaps so. The men here call you Night Captain, and these walls are yours. You have come far.
My lord, you should rest. Gather your strength. I must still remain strong. Any sign of weakness now to our own troops, and the King of Shadows will have gained another edge on us. He marches on Crossroad Keep, and it will not be long before his forces are at our gates. But you, Knight Captain, and your efforts here, you have served Neverwinter beyond the call of duty, risking your life not once, but several times without hesitation. If there is anything that I think will be the light against this shadow that comes against us, it is you and the fortress I have granted you. But on to the matters at hand. What of Waterdeep? Of the Lord's Alliance? Have they answered our call? Forces from Waterdeep and our other allies are on their way, but I do not know if they will arrive in time. I wish I shared your confidence, Knight Captain. But the power this King of Shadows seems to possess is something I do not think these walls can easily stop. You must hold this keep against these shadows. You have raised this place with your own hands. Now you must keep it together and lead your men in battle. We should waste no time. Please meet us in the war room, Captain.
Sir, we've arrived at the outskirts. With all the smoke in the air, the enemy can't be far. So, you've arrived. We have little time, for your men fight for their lives as we speak. Save your greetings. The enemy may soon hold these bridges. You need to strike swiftly if you are to succeed. I have spent some time observing the battlefield. Though your men fight in the fields, the true test will come at the bridges. The enemy has the first bridge well defended. Skeletal archers and shadow priests line the rear, while undead warriors block the bridge itself. They have yet to assemble a strong force at the far bridge. What I have seen may be deceptive. For certain, a Shadow Reaver is present there, so tread carefully. Farewell then, I will return to the keep. Guard yourself well and move swiftly. Guard yourself and return quickly.
the Shard Bearer. Ah, the captain of Crossroad Keep. It has been some time. A tool I may be, but even so, I command more power than the most elite of Farron. Let me show you what I mean. You are a fool to have come here. You may stand atop the battlements now, but know that I have come to reclaim my former home. Do you think your little towers are of any consequence? Crossroad Keep is but a stopping point for our king. Things have changed, Shardbearer. My king will soon tear through the confines of his prison. His power crosses such boundaries and may be granted to vessels of his choosing. Like me. That should be clear to see. It is but a fraction of what my king grants me from afar. Enjoy yourselves here while you can. I look forward to our next meeting. Should you survive. And now. You will die. Last globes. Know that your guardian has arrived. Even if not tied by blood, it seems baptizing. No time for questions, child. The enemy awaits. The bridges have been cleared! You did well. Now let us destroy them while we can. Your gratitude is welcome, but again, we have little time. I had to come here, and I made the right choice. Father's instinct still has some value, it seems. Wait to see the looks on the soldiers' faces when we tell them how we sent those shadow lovers barking! <laughs> Captain, I heard that you had just arrived. It is good to see you safe. Despite our victory, we bring unwelcome news. Black Garius was present, and possesses powers that can turn the battle in their favor. Garius can empower the dead, making them stronger. With that power, even their weakest foot soldiers become a threat to us. Large they may be, but skeleton bones will still break. 
just as rotting flesh may still be pierced. But this talk can wait for later. Come, you must all be hungry. Rest tonight, and we'll discuss today's events on the morrow. You are back. We were beginning to wonder with the sun so low in the sky. You... you are not seriously planning on fighting atop the walls, are you? Yes, there is. But you never seem to make the right ones. Sometimes I just wonder what's to be gained by you throwing yourself into situations like this again and again. I know the King of Shadows must be stopped, but I don't understand why it always has to be you. Look, come with me up to the castle walls. I want to show you something. It might put things in perspective. Do you see the sky? The way the shadows twine themselves with the clouds. With the wind, that will not last. It will grow stronger in time. The shadow will seep into the winds and into far lands. Not just in the mare, not just in Neverwinter. Your battle is not simply for this keep, but for Faron itself, for its heart. I thought that such a task was my duty, mine alone. But after what happened with the circle, and seeing how the shadows seeped into them, it reminded me how my strong connection to you kept me from the same fate. You see, I think that in the years that I watched you in West Harbor, maybe I wasn't neglecting the mare at all, but seeing what could save it. If only the Circle would realize it, that perhaps villagers dwelling with the land, that if one of them fought for it, if all of them fought as you did, then something greater could be achieved. And I wanted to thank you now, before the battle comes for us again. Also, I fear that I have not always been honest with you. In all matters. I... care for you. Not friendship, but deeper. It runs powerfully within me, and I have tried to fight it for some time. But such things cannot be held silent for long. Postponing what? Oh, I'm still not sure how you feel. You have that face you wear when you don't want people to know what you're thinking. I am as well. Let us promise to speak no more until the morrow, and we shall enjoy what brief time we have together.
yeah. My steel will strike true.
Captain, all the siege towers have been destroyed. Ah, uh, sir. Captain, the gate will not hold. They're coming through. Might as well let them ha <laughs> Soldiers, shut the gates! The captain has arrived with the remaining forces. Captain, look! The sun has emerged from its slumber. Garius may have fought his way under cover of darkness, but his troops are no doubt now burning under daylight's rays. Even with its remaining undead, the King of Shadows will be hard-pressed to breach the inner walls. Without their towers, they'll be defenseless against our attacks from above. Yes, defenseless. If you stay on the walls, you know, you might live through this. Maybe. Or maybe I'll see you in the Shadow Army before dawn. Let me show you. This gate of yours isn't coming down, which means this precious keep of yours won't be standing long. Don't bother trying to repair the gate mechanism. I took a look at it earlier and it was much easier to destroy than I thought. I doubt you'll survive, but I will, and I'm never on the losing side. Your orders, Captain. We must hold this courtyard as long as possible. Be brave, men, for the sun has come to our aid. Captain, this blockade is our last stand. Which of your companions should I send to fight alongside you? Who else? Our men will form a line within the blockade. Let the enemy come to us in the center, where they may taste the steel of our arrows. We'll send in additional units as you need them, sir. Which would you like as the first? And which unit should stay with you along the front lines, Captain? The undead! They don't feel the light! What? The vampires, the shadows, all of them! They're still coming! They're here! Here they come!
that your life is at an end. up forever. There are too many. And even with Dawn's light. You can do nothing. You think Dawn favors you, soldiers of Neverwinter? By my lord's grace, I can make even creatures of darkness unafraid of your precious light with but a few thoughts. Now, Captain, you will return my keep to me. We must deal with Darius, and quickly. As long as he maintains this spell, the legions under his command will only grow stronger. My lord still waits at the threshold of this tiny world. But his avatar is more than enough to end you and your... What is it? Begin the recitation. I am ready. comes and the enemy flees. Wipe them out! Victory! The enemy flees! Send the scouts to harry them!
them, but do not engage. We already hold the field. The day is ours. Our casualties were not insignificant, but you have triumphed through sound judgment. Lord Nasher thanks you, as do I. Know that you have fought well this day. But as long as the King of Shadows remains within his fortress, there is no victory. We must find a way to reach him, to pierce the veil of shadows around him. If we cannot, then we have lost, and it is only a matter of time for us. I think perhaps it is time to see what Aldenon has found. What is your will? Whatever preparations you need to do, make them quickly. Crossroad Keep cannot survive another assault. And if it falls... At last! This tome you found! Quite a wondrous thing, really. I was able to use it to... I suppose the best layman's term is... Unfetter the connections between here and there. Unfetter? And where is there and here exactly? Yes, you see the tome has a certain duality to it, like two pages facing each other in a closed book. If you open them, they are apart, but closed, they are right next to each other. You see? That is the most genius thing I have ever heard! So, the book can make two points closer together? Yes, the tome can make a doorway and it can also pinpoint a location within the Vale. But what he's really saying is that we can use the tome to teleport into the lethal heart of Mayor Delane, which everyone seems to agree is a great idea, for some reason that is unfathomable to me. Yes, that's it. Should all work well in theory, really? Don't worry, it should take us right where we want to go. The tome, once unlocked, is said to be very dependable. Then we need to go at once, before the King of Shadows regroups. He and Garius will not wait long before they attack us again. Know that the King of Shadows' realm lies deep in the Mare, in one of the ancient ruins of the Ilfarn Empire, in the ruins of what he was created to protect. It is in the heart of Merdelaine. My people once called the Mare the Slow Marching Court, as the tides came in and slowly claimed the land. Now it is Shadow that marches from there, Slowly seeping into the land. Oh, come on, Eleni. What's the worst that could happen? I mean, that the captain and us haven't already faced. The portal could accidentally take us into a different veil. Say, one filled with lava. Hard to get out of that, let me tell you. Enough talk. Let's go. Very well. Whenever you young people are ready, I can send you off. Whatever preparations you need to do, make them quickly. Crossroad Keep cannot survive another assault. And if it falls... Yes, yes! You just come back when you're ready, and I shall send you off with this magnificent tome. <laughs>